it's Ian from RTO here. Head's not too sore after last night, <laughs> after the Indian and cocktail making, which was a lot of fun, I must admit. Anyway, we are here this morning for another round of uh, Battle Royale. Now this is tie 13. So we've only got three left of round one. So tie 13 is between Vinyl Dale, Simon, the Beatles and Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band against Turnip's Return. Um, the Sleepy Jackson personality. One was a spider and one was a bird. So, first one that got drawn out of this was Simon's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's the eighth album by the Beatles and released on the 26th of May 1967. We don't have to go into the details about the Beatles because we all know the Beatles. So let's get straight into the album. This album opens up with Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. That classic riff at the beginning. Brilliant little song that is. It's very short, but it's a real good song. I like to go straight in to probably Ringo's best ever vocal on a Beatles song with a little help with my friends. Great track. Um, nice harmonies from the rest of the boys. Very, very strong track. Then we have the psychedelic track of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. There's been a few covers of this over the years. Oh, and John did a good one. Um, this is the original. It's very psychedelic. I love the drumming from Ringo in this. Absolutely killer track. Then we go to Getting Better. Um, I like the bass line from Paul in this it really is good it's a nice guitar work from George very quirky little number that is and then we have a lovely little track called Fixing a Hole the sort of harpsichord sound at the beginning silly words but uh, <laughs> some nice vocals and harmonies uh, it's a very good track that one then we have the wonderful She's Leaving Home uh love this. It's a classic. I love the strings in this. Absolutely amazing track. Then we have For the Benefit of Mr. Kite. I love this. There'll be a trampoline. <laughs> the Hendersons were there and all that good stuff. It's quite a quirky little number. That was the end of side one. Now side two <laughs> starts off with Within and Without You. Now, and there's a lot of people that love this track. You, you don't sit on the fence whether you either like it or you don't. Unfortunately, I'm in the I don't um, camp. It, go, it goes on too long. That's the, that's the biggest problem with that one. But I do like the When you listen to it over the headphones, you do get... It was very clever for the time. And it was a little bit different, wasn't it? Then we get the brilliant When I'm 64... The clarinet on this is brilliant. Uh, I love the words to this. Very, very good song from Paul McCartney. Then we have lovely Rita Meter Main, one of my favourite tracks on this album. Uh, just full of just that classic Beatles sound. Pretty good. Then we have Good Morning, Good Morning. I once had this on my uh, alarm on my phone. But my partner at the time told me to change it. <laughs> she hated it. But there you go. I like it though. It's a good track. Then we have the reprise of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Club. This is the funky version of it. Pretty good. And then we get the masterpiece. That is A Day in the Life. It's one of my favourite Beatles tracks personally. I just love how this is put together. It's... Uh, starts off a really gentle and then it just builds up the alarm bells 
and the end, that boom at the end, absolutely brilliant. Um, this album, very special album, isn't it? It set a benchmark. Uh, it's just one of those albums that everybody must own. Um, it's got some absolute classics on this. Uh, absolutely brilliant album all round, this is. Can't, there's not much else I can say about this album. Um, so, um, good luck with that one, Simon. It's a pretty decent album. Okay, then, let's move on to the next entry. Now, this is from Turnip's Return, and it's a band called Sleepy Jackson. And I had never heard of these, so I had to go and do my research. So the Sleepy Jackson and an alternative rock band from Perth, Western Australia. Um, and the band revolves around a multi-instrumentalist and songwriter, Lou Steele. Comes, comes from a musical background, um, his father played local blues, two of his siblings are also musicians, with one of his brothers being a former member of the Sleepy Jackson. And currently performing with Father Rick in the Hot Biscuit Band and Sister Katie who fronts another Perth rock band, Little Birdie. So <laughs> they're all uh, all in the music business somewhere. Now the album that Term Turn It's Return has chosen is Personality. One was a spider and one was a bird. It's the second album um, and it was released in July of 2006. Now the band on this is Luke Steele who does guitars and vocals, Malcolm Clark on the drums and backing vocals, Lee Jones on guitar, keyboards and backing vocals, and Dave Symes on bass and backing vocals, so they have all can sing. So the first track on here is called You Needed More. That's a nice start to this, it's got a very ambient atmospheric feel to it. I love the little bells on it. Um, Really good track. Now, Luke's vocals remind me, uh, there is sort of in between Nick Cave and Mike Scott. Nick Cave and, I mean, Mike Scott is from the Waterboys. It's a really good track. I do like that one. Then we have a track called The Devil Was In My Yard. Nice harmonies on this. Some lovely guitar tones on this as well. Again, a very good vocal from Luke Steele. God Led Your Soul is next. Very pleasant song. Nice harmonies. That's one thing I've a bit, I like about this album. There's some lovely harmonies on this. And a really strong song. Walk Alone. Got the bells in there. Them little bits of bells coming in. And the vocals, especially the backing vocals, the harmonies of very Beach Boys on this. Really nice track. Then we get God Knows, one of the best tracks on the album. And it's all down to that harmony singing. Really complement each other on that one. Excellent track. Then we get a track called I Understood What You Want, But I Just Don't Agree. This has got now a bit of violin in it. Um, the violin really adds a di another layer to this track. Without it, I think it would be a little bit shallow, but... But that um, violin, it gives it some nice depth. Then we have a track called Miles Away. Again, a different tone of vocals. It just shows you've got a really good vocals, Luke. Diverse what's singing. Excellent. Higher than hell. Not too bad. It, it's, it's, it's nice enough, but uh, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, my personal favourite track on the album. Um, play a little bit for love. This is um, a quite commercial sounding. Uh, I like the beginning bit. It's got this backward drumming and it switches to forward drumming. Very quirky track. Then we have a track called Don't Say. It's a good song. Um, sounds like a couple of the others though. But it's still a nice song. Then we have a track called You Won't Bring People Down In My Town. Um, the backing vocals on this are terrific, which allows the um, loop to just have a wonderful sort of 
repertoire with them. Um, wonderful stuff. Then we have Dream On, my favourite track on this. It's got some lovely guitar tones on this again. It's that ambience with it as well. And the last track is How Was I Supposed to Know? Wonderful string arrangement on this. It gives it the extra depth and some lovely piano work here that complements the um, strings uh, from Lee Jones. Very, very good track. Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest. I'd never heard of this band. So I had to really... Well, listen to this one. All the other albums that have been chosen for this, I know of. Uh, but this one was, a, I had to really listen to it. Um, I think it's a very good album. Um, and it's one of those albums that went under the radar. Because I don't remember this over here at all. Um, so, um, give it a listen. It is on Spotify. You need to go and give this a listen. Um, so good luck Turnip Surprise very brave to put an album like this in I must admit you know total respect to you ok so how do you do the voting well from 2pm today the poll will be up in the um, community and tonight on the the party in the, the middle bit the party in the middle we're still going to have the poll up. Should be fun tonight. It's a little bit the sort of thing, but it's more of a party atmosphere, and hopefully people will be dropping in out all evening. So um, that's that's the other place. Closing date for the draw, and we can cast your vote is next Wednesday. So once again, good luck to both Simon and Turnips return on this one. What have we got for you next week? Well, next week's tie is between Ralph and the Boston debut album. And he's going up against Rob Walker and the debut album The Stone Roses. Should be an interesting one. Um, I'll be back later when we're going to have a trip down memory lane. And we're going to look at the top ten singles. For the 28th of December, 1971. So, um, some great songs on that. So I'll see you that for later. And the lights, and the lights fading again. Might have to have the light on for the next one. Bye for now.